Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Thrifty and Nifty Ideas. Now tonight I got a super nifty idea for Valentine's Day. And this is super, super easy. It does not get any easier than this. So, to start off with, I got this Happy Valentine's Day uh, little sign thing from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to cut this little ribbon thing off the top. We're not going to use that. Let's get rid of that. Normally when I buy Dollar Tree signs and things, I do a whole bunch of other things with it. But we're not going to do that because this is super cute. This is very country-like. And it kind of goes with the decor in my house. So I'm going to keep the sign as is and just add a few things to it. Super, super simple. All right, what you're going to need for this, and you can do whatever you want to do with it. I just decided to use some twine to replace, to hang the uh, where the ribbon was at, to hang the sign from. I'm going to be using some of this rope twine that I got off of Amazon. Uh, you're going to use some ribbon just to make a bow at the top of it. I have these on hand, all from the Dollar Tree. But I also have this left over from Christmas from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use this because it kind of ties in with the colors a little bit better. And then some berries from a berry pick. Optional. You don't have to do that. You can use whatever you have on hand. And you're going to need some hot glue. And to start off with is, let me... Run my twine through the top of the sign and tie it off in the back because that's how I'm going to hang this. Alright, just tie that in a little double knot. Trim that off so it can't be seen. And probably just about like that should be enough. So let's feed that through the front. If I can get in there. Alright. Let's go about, eh, I don't know. About to there should be okay. Tie that in the back. Just a little double knot. Cut that excess off. All right. That's where we're going to hang that from. All right, once you got your hanger on, you want to do that first before you start attaching your rope, twine, rope thing here. Going to need a good measure of that. Let me get some of that out there. And here's where your hot glue comes into place. Ralph this is my little buddy Ralph you've seen him in other videos I got him for Halloween decoration and you know I just kind of decorate him for everything now I don't know what that is on his schnoz but now he is ready to go for for Valentine's Day I don't know he's my buddy he hangs out with me it's weird don't judge me so we're going to start at the top here, and above that black line, we're going to put hot glue. I don't have a steady hand anymore. I used to. I don't anymore. does not matter. This does not have to be perfect. We're going to go down to about right there where that point is, and let's just start Oh, getting a rope onto there before that hot glue sets. You want to try to have a little bit of that black line showing if you can. If not, it's no big deal. Does not matter that much on this. I'm using Gorilla Glue sticks. Those are my favorite. If you can't get that, you know, use a cheaper thing. But I can't guarantee that a cheaper product is going to work as good as Gorilla Glue Sticks. Alright. 
Now, what I had to do with this sign was I used my scissors to pry up just the very bottom. Now, let me kind of show you. I already did this, but let me show you what I did. I, I just pried that up a little bit. If you end up prying up too much and you break that, it's okay. It's not going to matter that much. And what I want to do is feed that rope up underneath that part of the sign. This takes a little bit of working. Like I said, if you if you break it, it ain't no big deal. You can hot glue it back down. But we're going to try not to break it. Get under there. Rope. We're just going to feed that up underneath there. And that will, that is so tight, that will hold that down into place. So you don't have to worry about that rope. All right. Pressing on with our hot glue. Down towards the bottom. Trying to keep, like I said, that black line showing in there as best as what you can. All right. Looking good so far. Probably going to need another glue stick in here. Ooh, let's get that going. Well, maybe not yet, but I'm sure I will. All right. And then let us... That now is when I need the glue stick. On up to about there. And just place that rope down. Okay, now we're getting this part of the sign. And like I did with the other side, was I already used my scissors to pry up this corner. <laughs> Get up there. I had it pried up. Let's try this again. Hard part is doing this without breaking that little cardboard piece there. All right, get your fingers up underneath there and just push that rope on through. You don't have to hot glue that because that sign or that little piece of cardboard is so tight, it's going to hold that into place pretty good. All right. Now let's finish up with the hot glue. Let's just go ahead and cut that off. <laughs> my dull scissors. I got to sharpen my scissors. That'll be all right. A little more hot glue to kind of cinch that down into place. Oh, I got some kind of little flying bug on there. Go away, bug. Go away, bug. All right. That's what you're going to have once you put your rope onto there. Don't worry about this because that's going to be covered with some berries. All right. Very, very good. I like how that turned out. Let's just trim some of this stuff off of this. All right. Okay. So then. Next up, what I want to do is put, I got some of these berries off of a pick, 
from, I don't know, Christmas, a Walmart pick, Dollar Tree pick. It doesn't matter there. You know, they're all just picks. So I want to put a few down here and then a few up top there to cover where that center is. So let me just kind of cut off a little bit. We don't want too much going on. Let's see if I can get this cut off. Ah. All right. So let us just put a little bit down here at the very bottom. This is a simple country looking sign. Sometimes less is more. I'm sure those are going to stick down pretty good. And maybe just a couple more over here on the side. Just to polish that off. Just a couple more. Not too much, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's going to look good. Just a little bit at the bottom. I do want to put a little bit at the top to cover up that part. Well, let's see. I don't want those. That many berries. I just want a little bit of berries. Let's just cut a little bit off of there. Just a little bit. We don't want too many berries going on in this. Alright. I think that's going to be good. Just a few at the top to cover where our rope meets. A lot of hot glue on that. And press that down into place. This is super simple. Super country looking. And, uh, like I said, with some projects, less is more. Alright, last thing to do to polish this off is, like I said, you can use any kind of ribbon you get from the Dollar Tree or wherever. I have these on hand. I'm not going to use them, even though they'd all look, you know, they'd both look super cute on there. But I have these left over from Christmas, and all I did was just kind of fluff that out a little bit. I uh, got this from Dollar Tree, too, actually. They're kind of like, I think they call this buffalo plaid. And I just want to put that at the very top, in the center, to finish that off. Give that a quick tie. And then we'll just cut that little excess off. <laughs> Extra berries decided to jump in the picture. We don't need you berries. Go away. And then, because this bow does not come V'd at the bottom or anything decorative looking, let's go ahead and just be that to make it look fancified. If we can. This material may not cut the way I want it to. Yeah. Rustic. Now let's try that a little bit better. <laughs> Work with me. Jesus. I don't want it to look that rustic. Uh, well, it's the material of the ribbon. You know, what you going to do? Maybe that's why they just left it flat. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to leave that flat. And cut it straight across and call it God. Just like this one. All right.
there's what you have for a nice little country looking Valentine's Day sign. Hope you guys like this. Super simple to do, super cheap. Costs like a dollar for the sign from Dollar Tree, of course. And then um, just leftover material. So, you know, less than two dollars to do this. Hope you like that. It's gonna look cute hanging on my wall. And thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.